my name is Victoria, and I'm going to start blooming with you. Today, I'm going to make an, uh, a creation called an octopus. I've made mo I've made four, but um, they are in my rainbow room box, which is somewhere else right now. Um, well, this is my first YouTube video, but I am a very, very advanced bloomer. Uh. I love to loom a lot, and this is kind of advanced, but not really advanced, so it's kind of like in the middle to easy to medium. Anyway, let's start. Today you are going to need a hook. Most of you have the rainbow, the new rainbow loom hook, but I'm going to use a crochet hook. If, you're, if you have a crochet hook, mine is 4.25 millimeters. You are going to be um, needing a rainbow loom and, and a rainbow loom. I'm sure you can do it without um, a rainbow loom. You can probably do it with crazy loom, but I'm not sure it's 100%. I'm not 100% sure it's possible, but it could be possible. Anyway, today we are. I'm going to be using um, turquoise jelly bands or blue jelly bands. See if I can put a light on the camera. And I'm also going to be using pink. And jelly purple. And white. Turquoise. Alright, let's start looming. So it's going to be. Uh, kind of based on a uh, triple single. So do all of your triple single things. Uh, my middle column is going to be blue, and my other and my right is going to be pink, and my left is going to be purple. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. And um, okay. If you finish and pause this whenever you want. Okay. So I finished. I put all my rainbow loom things on. And next you're going to take white or whatever color and you're just going to put it on every if you're going you're just going to put it on every single one to, if you're going on your right side, you're going to put every you're going to put a white where everywhere. But you're not going to put it on regularly. You're just going to let it hang. I don't want you to put one on the first and on the last pick. You can't screw up your bracelet, but it won't look it won't look as nice. And this is my own creation. Um, I haven't seen ever anyone else have this before. Okay. All right. So I finished all of my whites. Now, I'm going to take my blue to be my triangles. And I'm going to put my, my turquoise, or blue, for triangles. If you have not done a triple single, I will recommend for you to watch um, a video for a triple single. Because this is based on a triple single, and if you don't know how to do a triple single, it's going to be really hard for you. Because most of these steps are triple single steps. Or it might not be as hard for you. But if you have somebody that knows how to do right beside you, then it will be easier for you. If you don't know how. And, this, and these triangles are going to be securing these white bands into place. So I put a triangle on, I didn't put a triangle on the first, and I put one on the last. So do not put a triangle on the first three hooks, I mean the first three pegs. But put them on the next and all the way down. So you should have a white band on the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So there's thirteen pegs. And just put it on 11, I think. One, two, three. 
Scratch that. It's 11. Put it on the white band on only 11 pegs. Don't put one on the top and don't put one on the bottom. If they do come onto your tri the white bands come onto your triangle, just put them right back down. And now let's start looming. So I'm gonna start with the uh, middle column, which is um turqu um well jelly turquoise or jelly blue, whatever you want to call it. And this is going to help me. Probably on this one. Finished. I loomed all of them, and this is what it should look like. And you want, when you're done, you just want to pull all of the jelly, I mean the white, out so they're hanging off after you loom. Hold on, I have a, I forgot a few. So I pulled all of my white bands out, and now and they look like this. Okay, so now you're gonna put this pink, the top of the pink. Well, I see it is left, but it's my right. Put this pink and put it on the blue. So like this. So that's what it should look like. The pink I pulled over to this one. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same with the purple. And it's fine if you have these regular plastic hooks. But mine were breaking. And you can see this. If you can see this white part right here. That, that was a signal to me that it was breaking. And this crochet hook is aluminum and won't break while I'm looming. And won't, like, break under pressure. So, that's that. And then I put the purple. So all of my three should be here. Now you're going to stick your loom through all three of them. And you're going to pull your creation, my, the creation off, off of the loom. So when you pull it off, it should look like this. What you're going to do is you're going to, going, going, whatever, I'm going to make my bracelet like the thing that goes under your wrist. What color should I make it? Hmm. Let's look in my loom kit. I'm gonna go check my loom kit. I'll be right back. I'm going to make it because it works. I'm going to make it white because the thing is white. Okay, so right now I'm just going to go around and just make like you were doing the middle of your rainbow loom. Yeah, this takes a while. My back's cramping out on me. Okay. Yes, this is the right way to do it. 
So you're going to start from the top and just go down. And you want the arrow facing towards you. 